Welcome back to Fusion Friday. Today we're going to have a look at the Combine Command. To me, it's one of the most powerful tools we have in Fusion if you're a woodworker and you're interested in modeling joinery joints. Let's get straight into it. You're going to find the Combine Command up here on the Modify menu. Combine performs Boolean operations between solid bodies. You select the target body and then select one or more two bodies to perform a join, a cut or an intersect operation on the target. Sounds complicated but most descriptions in Fusion do. So let's do a very very quick sketch of two pieces of wood and let's see what these things do actually do. Okay so let's come in and create a sketch. We'll just create a sketch on the front plane. So let's come to the origin and let's just create a table leg and let's make this table leg something like um, 20 millimeters wide and let's make it half a meter high so I've now got a sort of kind of very tall table leg. let's make that a bit smaller actually so we can see it on the screen let's bring it down so only 100 that's better we can see it on the screen a bit better then I'm going to finish the sketch and then we'll extrude this we've used extrude before and we'll just extend that out and we'll extend that out by 20 as well so now I've got a square table leg in case you're wondering why this is green it's so you can see the different components how you color code these underneath inspect pull down inspect component color cycling toggle take it off you get back to that gray toggle it on every different component gets to be color coded for us and talking of components I just want to make this into a component go up here to the to this component body for it's called right click on it and create component from bodies and let's just give that a name leg you can see we've got this beautiful pinky red color for our leg okay let's come back into sketch and make a cross bar here on this face we'll do just going to create another simple sketch and this one we'll call 10 millimeters across and let's make it 15 millimeters deep we'll finish that sketch now again back into extrude and extrude this one Cross to a random length of 100 looks good and we make sure we make it a new component so this is not an unusual setup as a woodworker apart from the color coding I've got a leg and I've got some sort of brace coming out of that leg now typically we would want to connect these two pieces of wood together and that's where the modify command for us really really comes in but there's three key things that the modify command can do. It can do an intersection, it can do a cut, and it can do a join. So let's look at all of those, and then we'll come back to the one that's really important for woodworkers. So we go to the modify, combine here. It also appears as this icon in your top menu, so let's click on that. This is your combined menu, really simple. Target body, a tool body, an operation what you want to do after the operation with the piece that's left over, is it a new component, and do you want to keep the tool. The target body is the thing that you want to make the operation on. So if I was cutting a mortise, this leg here will be my target body because I want to cut the mortise into the target body. The tool body is the thing that's going to make the cut. So if I had a tenon on the end of this, and we'll look at that shortly, that would be the tool that's going to cut into the target body. So you start off by saying, what's the body of the components I want to work on? Well, it's this pink leg in our case, and you can see that's now selected. What's the tool body? Well, this tool body is this one here. Now, what do I want to do? Operations, there's three operations. I can join, I can cut, and I can intersect. So to illustrate this, I'm just going to take this orange component here and just slide it across here a little bit. I'm going to use the move or copy command. I'm going to move a component, and it's that component. I'm just going to slide that in to about there. Okay, so you can now see that these overlap inside that piece of wood. So let's now look at the combine command on these two pieces of wood. Go up to the combine command, come into our menu. Target body is going to be the pink leg. My tool body is going to be this cross piece here. And we'll start off with the join operation. All that's going to do is join this piece of wood to this piece of wood and make it into a single component. And you can see it's done that. So it's now got this component here. It's all gone pink. And if I select the front face, you can see it's selecting all of that component. And if I grab this, it all moves around together. 
And that's what your join command does. Interestingly, if you look up here in our tree, you can see it still talks about component five, that orange one that we made. But if I turn that off, you can see it makes no difference. And if I turn that leg assembly off, and that's not there anymore. So you can actually come ahead and delete that if you wanted to. But let's roll back in our timeline and let's just delete that command that we did. I'll be back now to our original situation. Now let's come back into the modify place. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to select the target body. I'm going to select the tool body. We're still going to join it, but now I want to keep the tool. I don't want that tool to be deleted. Okay. Now look at this, it looks like it's not done anything, but if I now take the pink leg and drag it away, and you can see it's made the pink one, it's given us what we wanted to, that joined body up here, but it's left this tool behind, and that's still the separate component up here in our tree. And that could be useful if you want to make a template, so you want to make multiple of these as a prime example, you could quickly do that. Not a feature I tend to use very, very much in my woodworking, projects. Use it quite a lot in 3D printing, but that's a different conversation, but not so much in woodworking. So let's come back and delete that again. Delete. So now let's do this operation again. Modify. I'm going to select the target body, select the tool body. The operation is going to be join, but now I want to create a new component, but I want to keep the tool as well and just show you what happens here. Okay, so let's okay that. Now straight away you can see it's put a new component, component 7.1 in our case. And if I drag that component away, you can see I've still got my original pieces, but now I've got a third component that's joined together. And again, that's quite useful if you want to make templates that you can reuse across your design. And again, because you've actually joined this into a single component, it's not much use in, in woodworking. You may find a use for it, but I don't tend to use that an awful lot, but that is there. So let's roll back again and let's delete all those things that we've just done. Okay, so we're back to our two bits of wood again. Modify command, let's look at the next command. So the target body is going to be the leg, the tool body is going to be this one, and now let's look at the next one, which we're going to use cut. Now this one is super, super, super useful because you could well see yourself in the shop wanting to insert this piece of wood into this piece of wood here, and that's exactly what this would do for us. The new components and the keep tools do exactly the same thing. If I had a new component, it would make the operation and turn it into a new component, which can be quite useful if you want to do multiple repetitive joints. But let's keep the tool, let's not worry about the new component, and press OK. Now what that's done, that's now kept these as separate components, and if I drag this one out of the way, you can see it's given us a beautiful inset joint here inside this wood. And that's exactly what you would want to do in woodworking. So this is a very, very useful joint. In fact, what's that? That's a stopped housing joint, I think, isn't it? So the combine command and the cut tool is super, super, super useful for us. Okay, let's undo that one. Let's come back into the combine tool again and look at the final option. Target body is the leg, the tool body is the cross member, but this time we're going to do the intersection. Now, what you can see that's done straight away, it's only focused on that piece where the leg and this cross member intersected. This piece here, this chunk that's inside the leg. So where does cut just cut out that slot inside here? The intersect gets rid of everything apart from that block inside there. If I don't keep the tools and OK, you can see I end up with just that small intersection point cut out. Now, I've never yet found a use for that tool in, um, in woodworking. I'm sure there's huge applications for that in wider manufacturing beyond woodworking, but I've never really found a use for that, but just know that that's there if you can do it. Now, if you think about this now from a woodworker point of view, how would you want to connect this piece of wood to this leg? Well, you probably want to go ahead and use some sort of tenon. We could have used that sort of stopped housing joint that we had a look at before, but ideally we're going to use a tenon. So let's just turn off the leg for a second so we can get to the end of this piece of wood and spin it round. And let's just draw a tenon on this. We're going to the sketch tool, I'm going to come to this end here, click that, and all we're going to do is to draw some sort of 
random rectangle, don't care what size it is, on there. Finish the sketch and then we come to extrude and we'll just pull that out. And we'll make sure that the operation here is join. If you can't remember how to use the extrude tool, go and look in the, in the library that we're building up. We have spoken about the extrude tool and we'll join that together. So now we've put a tenon, quite a big tenon actually, on this piece of wood. Now let's bring our leg back in. So now you've got the tenon, you now want to create the mortise inside the leg. That's an ideal use for this tool. So let's select it, combine. My target body is my leg. My tool body is going to be this cross piece. And straight away it's saying, oh, you're going to intersect me. No, 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 I'm not. I'm going to cut you. And you can see it sends the cut tool red. And you can see that mortise happily inside there. I want to keep the tool and I don't want to create a new component. Bang doesn't look any different, but when I hide the orange piece, there you go. Inside there, I've now got a mortise that's perfectly the right size for that tenon that we've made. And don't forget, you can cut pretty much any shape out of this. So if we were to just roll back and delete what we've just done. So that's now um, no longer got the mortise inside it. Just going to hide the leg and let's just come back into this and I want to delete this this tenon as well so I'm just going to roll back that point there and delete it so we're now just back to the first piece of wood. What I want to do, I want to extend this wood out a little bit but all of it, the entire end. So I'll go back to the extend tool I'm just going to pull this out by, I don't know, 10 millimeters or so. And now I want to come in and create a sketch, and I'm going to create a sketch on this end here. And all I'm going to do is to sketch out a dovetail from there to there to there. And we'll do the same from there to there to there. And that may or may not be right, I'm not too worried about it. But I'll finish the sketch, and then I'll just come into the extrude tool. I want that piece, and I want that piece. And we're going to just push that backwards, cut it out, out of the way. So I've now got a dovetail. And again, this is not an unusual joint. So we bring our leg back in. I'm very to see that type of joint. It's nice and strong for this type of thing. It's got great lateral support. It also means that you can put this joint in place, um, having mounted the legs onto the table. So it's quite an easy construction methodology. But we want to put the dovetail housing inside here. Now hopefully you can see exactly what we're going to do. We're going to come to the combine tool. I'm going to select my target body. I'm going to select my tool body. My operation is cut and I want to keep the tool. Okay. And if I now turn off that thing, you can see we've got the dovetail housing inside that leg. And it's that cut tool, the, the combine, that I use every single time to make my dados, to make my rebates, to make my stopped housing joints, my half lap joints, my dovetail joints, my mortise and tenon joints. A really, really powerful, powerful tool. So that's it for today. I hope you found that useful. That modified tool, well worth playing with. And if you like to model your joinery inside your fusion projects, that's a tool that you really, really need to get to grips with. And the great thing about it is because we're modifying components, when we come to look at engineering drawings, workshop drawings down the line, we can measure all of those so we can actually spec them out so we can machine them in the workshop. See you next time on Fusion Friday.